National Fire Service. Brief Vehicle Overview. In February 1942, the National Fire Service was responsible for about 50,000 vehicles, including 22,000 appliances, 9,000 lorries and vans, 12,000 cars and 3,000 motorcycles, valued at £10 million. But it hadn't always been that way. No lorries could be purchased at this time, October 1939. Moreover, dealers soon became aware of the demand and increased prices. So allowance limits had to be increased. Some vehicles used as TVs, towing vehicles, were loaned or donated by generous local citizens. The shortage of petrol or their owner recovering calling up papers often resulted in vehicles lying idle. Two Rolls Royce limousines were for a time included in the AFS TV fleet in Scotland, recovering regular maintenance at a local Rolls Royce garage agency. Wow, I wonder what their drivers thought of them. Lorries were authorised from December 1939. Second hand lorries of one ton and over not exceeding eighty pounds under one ton fifty pounds for towing a heavy TRP cars could be used for towing large or light TRP but even this proved unsatisfactory in many cases. In some places there was a serious shortage of TV vehicles available on a part-time basis, were increasingly relied upon, particularly in Birmingham, Portsmouth and Bournemouth. The HO reported to the Treasury that TV availability was in a precarious state, so vehicles had to be purchased in the course of 1940. More lorries for carrying hose Dams and tanks were required. New limits of up to £150 for lorries, 1.5 to 2 tonnes, £175 for 2.5 tonnes, and £200 over 5 tonnes were imposed, and local authorities were responsible for obtaining some. So that just shows you, even in early 1940, how ill-prepared the country was for war. 